a good boy. Who's a good boy? Kuna, sit. You gotta sit. 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 Kuna, sit. Sit. <laughs> He's like, screw you. You're scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little dude. He's like, I don't know about this. <laughs> Sit. Can you sit? Good boy, down. Roll over. Oh, good uh, boy. Uh, stick him up. Stick him up. Stick him up. Pew, 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 pew. 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 Stay. Okay. Come on. Get your treat. <laughs> So, if success is just about creating habits, then it turns out habit creation is really, really important. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm actually in the process right now of figuring out how to instill certain things into my life daily. And I'm going to show you exactly the steps that I'm doing to make this happen. Because the truth of the matter is, is that if you want to be successful, it's just a matter of daily habits. Or if you end up not being where you want to be, it's often just a matter of the daily habits that you're doing. So really, how can we change these? How can we make it so it's like, ah, oh, every single day, you're doing the things that you say you want. You're doing the things that are going to bring you to where you want in life. So step one, what do you even want? Get so crazy freaking clear about what you want. And then once you decide what you want, you want to be able to put it in terms of it already happening. So you want to write about it. You want to say it. You want to speak it out loud. So for me, it's like I, Audrey Jean Baker, am so happy and so grateful that I now have ba 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 And I have that by December 31st, 2018. Boom. That's it right there. And that's the start of it. And then from there, you write up a plan. And then from there, what are you going to give to receive? So once you're so clear with this, you write it down and then you're going to say it out loud twice a day, right when you wake up in the morning and right when you go to bed at night. And you're going to do it constantly over and over and over again until it gets built into your head. You're starting to switch and change your mindset, you're starting to switch and change those neuronal patterns. Okay. It's a really important part. The second piece is you've got to clean up energy leaks in your life. Look, the women that work with me, they want, they want to lose weight or they want to be happier or they want to feel sexier. And they have these neuronal patternings in their head of, I hate my body. I hate my life. They have these neuronal patternings in their physicality where it's normal for them to just drive through the drive through or where they end up, you know, sitting on the couch and they just like, Oh, they're home and they don't even want to get out again. Right? So you have to be able to stop these energy leaks, you know, if the clothes that you have in your closet don't fit, you need to get rid of them. If the food inside of your fridge is old and you've got junk food all over, you need to clean up those energy leaks. You need to let that go. Clean that up. You will be so amazed that when you start to clean up the things that take up energy and space in your life that aren't in alignment with what you want, everything will start to shift energetically. And then finally, to really affirm it to your mind over and over again. The problem is the reason why you can't get what you want and you, it's hard to change habits is because you're only used to what you've been doing in the past. It really does take great effort to move forward. It takes great effort to change habits. It is a big deal. But the truth is, is what's the alternative? Keep it the way it is when you're living in a situation where you don't feel good, where you're not happy, where you don't like your body, where you're pissed at the world, where everybody annoys you, where you hate your body right? Where you're eating junk food every day, or you're emotional eating or overeating, or you don't want to have sex with somebody like this is a problem. Like we don't want to do this. So we got to clean this shit up. And how do we do it? We do it by changing our habits. And how do we do it by changing our habits? We've got to focus on it every single day. That what we focus on changes. So number one, you make the plan, you write it out, you get super clear about it. Number two, you clean up your energy leaks. And number three, you affirm it. 
So like affirmations, I never was a big fan of affirmations until all of a sudden I started to really see the power of them. Now all of these that I'm teaching you is a top-down approach. You're thinking with your mind, you're putting it in your head, you're doing all of this work right here. And what it does is it starts to seep into your subconscious. A lot of the work that I do is bottom up. So if you were gonna work with me as a client, we do breath work, we do five sense realities, we do a bottom up approach where we start in your subconscious and then it wells up into your consciousness. But what I'm talking about today are top down approaches. It is about your thinking mind and making decisions every single day and creating these habits. Now, I'm gonna go upstairs to my apartment and I'm gonna show you literally step by step how I am implementing new habits into my life right now as we speak. And you can follow along. I'll be sharing all of this on Facebook. So come on, let's go check it out. Let's go. So here we are. This is literally how I figure shit out. This is literally how I make changes happen. I get so crystal clear. I have my journal. I write down what I already told you earlier right here. I, Audra Jean Baker, I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm serving my clients and it's this huge, amazing business. I have all of this written down here by December 31st, 2018. Like I'm very specific. What I'm gonna give to receive, what my actual plan is, it's all right here, right? And inside of that plan, I know there's certain habits that I need to start doing on a regular basis in order to make changes. But how do we make changes? It's hard, we get so excited at the beginning, but no, you put it up here. So this is my 30 day challenge right here. I have day one all the way over to day 30. And then I have everything written down. So everything from taking my vitamins to getting seven to eight hours of sleep to moving my body to my jade egg practice. I'm doing this every single day to getting on social media, doing my YouTube channels, doing all of this stuff. Like everything is here that's going to make this happen. In addition to this, remember I said you have to clean up your energy leaks. So down here, I have all my energy leaks written down. This is where I'm like, all right, I know that I need to get my taxes done. It's freaking April, right? I need to, I have all these dead plants in my apartment because I'm not very good at keeping track. So I need to go buy some new plants. And like every time I pass the new plant, it's like, ah, I need to clean out the pantry, get rid of the junk food, right? I have a shirt, I have like a shirt. I think I have like two or three shirts that have holes and I'm like, why? I always want to wear them, but then I can't. It's got a hole in them. It needs to go into the garbage. Energy leaks, gone. Everything right here. I see this every day when I pass by. Boom, yeah? And then the other piece of this, oh, and I want to show you this on here two times a day in bed in the morning and at night i read this out loud and then i take myself into a five sense reality so i imagine already having it and i evoke the emotions of having it yeah twice a day while i'm in bed right before i fall asleep and right when i wake up in the morning and i check mark that shit off when it's done you know what i mean and the last piece of this that I've only recently come to super appreciate are affirmations. So I actually have some of them, although I have a lot more of these affirmations. And I do these twice a day as well. So at least twice a day. So right when I wake up and right when I go to bed. And like, I am worth it. You know, I'm totally deserving of extreme romance and joy and love and wealth in my life. Like all of this is written down. I'm so happy and grateful with my business December 31st, 2018, boom, I have all of this down. And if you do this, if you put it in front of you, go to bed, get the sleep, right? Take your vitamins, whatever it is you're trying to shift and change in your life, and you give yourself 30 days to make it happen. That is how to make it happen. So really and truly, if you want to change your life, it is a set of daily habits that you are doing. And these are the things that you have to shift. And just getting excited on day one ain't gonna freaking do it, okay? This is the strategy, this is the plan. This is the thoughtful top-down approach. Definitely want bottom-up approaches, which I've got like 20 other YouTube videos that you can go check out about the bottom-up approaches around self-love and self-pleasure and all of these other beautiful ways of doing that. But for here, for now, this is the way, like, brick and mortar, concrete, step by step. There's no fluff here. This is what you do. All right, who's in with me? Who's taking the 30 day challenge? I want you guys to share below who's doing the 30 day challenge with me. Yes, are you in? 
If you like this, if you want to change your life, if you want to change your habits, if you can see better possibility for your life, for your future, for your health, for your happiness, for your vibrancy, for for crying out loud, subscribe, subscribe to my channel and make sure to go head on over to audrabaker.com and get on the newsletter list because that is the place that I share things. Well, that I really only share with them. So head on over there. Love to see you there. Thank you guys so much. Have a great week. Mwah. See you next time.